So we've been looking at the security of aftermarket car alarms. Now these are often designed to prevent keyless relay theft, the type where a hacker brings a black box, unlocks your car and drives it off. The idea of these is they add an additional layer of security. However, fitting them to our cars and discovered a bit of a train wreck of security. We were first interested by these. We discovered one alarm was marketing itself as unhackable. That's the Pandora alarm, which you might have seen in footage we put online. This one has got the very famous, very popular Viper or Clifford alarm known as in the UK. We fitted it to this vehicle and we've discovered an insecure direct object reference in the API, which means we can simply send the password to any user. It's as easy as that to hijack the app. Now that we've got control of the account, we can do all sorts of crazy stuff. First of all, we can find the car in real time over GPS, so we know where all the cars are. Second problem, we can identify the vehicle types, so you can identify interesting, expensive vehicles to pinch. That's crazy, right? But now we've got full and complete control. We can find the car, we know which cars are expensive, we know which ones are worth pinching, let's take control. Vangelis has hijacked the app for Chris's car here. So the car is locked, it's not started. Vangelis, what can you do? Uh, I can unlock the car. That's the car unlocked, great, we're in. How's about the engine? Can you start and stop the engine? Now we started the engine remotely, so we can make that run for as long as you like, drain the fuel overnight, gas you in your garage if you like. Not so good. Now if you wanted to steal a car, one of the best things you could do is find a vehicle, drive up behind it whilst it's moving, and set off the panic alarm, which is going to cause the driver to stop. So now the driver stops to investigate, we can also immobilise the vehicle. And if you want to take the car, you can just stop the engine to order. Unlock the vehicle, grab the driver, pinch the keys and you're off. This is crazy. On other alarms we found the ability to listen to a microphone as part of the alarm so we can snoop on nearly three million drivers and there's also a huge amount of personally identifiable information leaked through the APIs. This is really bad. We've disclosed to the vendors, they've told us they've fixed it, I sincerely hope they have. <laughs>